Hey guys, I'm here with another interesting episode on IT careers. And in this episode, we will discuss what it takes to become an outstanding Java developer. Let me tell you one thing before we get into topic. To learn a technical skill, programmers also need to have some basic skills like understanding syntax, logical reasoning, and English language skills. Once you are proficient in these basic skills, if you start learning programming structured way following a learning process, it makes you a good techie. In this video, I am sharing with you some of the steps you need to follow while learning Java. Step number one, have strong foundation and understanding on OOPS. For a Java developer, having strong understanding on object oriented programming is a must. Without having a strong foundation on OOPS, one can't realize the beauty of an object-oriented programming language like Java. If you don't have good idea on what OOPS is, even though you are using OOPS language, you may still be coding in procedural way. Just studying OOPS principle definition won't help much. We should know how to apply those OOPS principles in designing a solution in OO way. So one should have a strong knowledge in object modeling inheritance, polymorphism, design patterns. Step number two is master the core APIs. It doesn't matter how strong you are in terms of theoretical knowledge if you don't know the language construct and core APIs. In case of Java, one should have very strong hands-on experience with core APIs like java.lang, IO, exceptions, collections, generics, threads, JDBC, etc. When it comes to web application development, no matter which framework you're using, having strong knowledge on servlets, JSPs is a must. Step number three, keep coding. Things look simpler when talking about them theoretically. We can give a solution to a problem very easily in theory, but we understand the complexity of the problem during implementation. During implementation, we'll come to know that the language limitation or design best practices while coding. So keep coding. Step number four, subscribe to forums and blogs. We are not alone. There are lots of people working on the same technologies that we are working on. When starting to work on a new technology, the best and first thing to do is subscribe to the relevant technology forums and blogs. There are thousands of enthusiastic technology freaks around the world blogging their insights on technology. Also, whatever the issue you are facing, someone else in the world might have already faced it earlier and might have found the solution and posted on a forum. So we have few examples of these forums like stackoverflow.com, w3schools.com. These are really good examples. People share tech related insights, queries, codes and solutions on them. Step number five, read open source framework source code. A good developer will learn how to use a framework. But if you want to be an outstanding developer, you should study the source code of various successful popular frameworks where you can see the internal working mechanism of the framework and a lot of best practices. It will help a lot in using the framework in very effective way. Step number six, know the technology trends. IT domain is very dynamic and it keeps undergoing huge changes. Also, in the open source software development technology, trends keep on changing. By the time you get good idea on a framework that might become obsolete and some brand new framework came into picture with super set of features. So the problem which you are trying to solve with your current framework may be already solved by the line of configuration. I mean by a single line of configuration. So keep an eye on what's coming in and what's going out. Step number seven. Keep commonly used code snippets or utilities handy. Over time, you may need to write or copy paste same piece of code or configuration again and again. So keeping those kind of configuration snippets like log dot properties, JDBC configurations, etc. and utilities like string utils, reflection utils, db utils will be more helpful. Step number eight, 
no different development methodologies be familiar with various kind of methodologies like agile scrum waterfall etc see nowadays choosing the development methodology depends on the client some clients prefer agile and some clients are happy with waterfall model so having an idea on various methodologies would be a great step number 9 document or blog your thoughts on technology in day to day job you may learn new things new and better way of doing things best practices architectural ideas so keep documented those thoughts or blog it and share across the community imagine you solved a weird problem occurred while doing a simple poc and you blogged about it step number 10 so the last thing is never think you are a java master mastery of anything is a continuous journey that never ends even if you have been programming and writing about java since its inception and still you can't be a java master so you always seek to improving your skills so let me on recap on the 10 steps i have just explained step number 1 have strong foundation and understanding on oo principles step number 2 master the core apis step number 3 keep coding step number 4 subscribe to forums and blogs step number 5 read open source framework source code step number 6 know the technology trends step number 7 keep commonly used code snippets utilities handy step number 8 know different development methodologies step number 9 document or blog your thoughts on technology step number 10 never thinks you are a java master so with this i'll wind up my session and i hope you guys have enjoyed it i will be coming up with more and more videos on it careers do you wish to join this course to get connected with the best trainers and training companies visit the link